So it has been a hectic couple of months and my cycling form has basically fallen off a cliff. I've been away, my wife was away for a couple of weeks. We've all had a chest infection in the family. When my wife was away, both the kids picked up gastro, the 24 hour flu, which I kind of had. Just got back from family vacation. Got back from family vacation and went straight down the coast to my niece's first birthday. So I have not been able to do much on the bike and shit happens. Life gets in the way of training, but I'm back on the bike and I got a new goal. In 10 weeks time in, a, in Australia, in South Australia actually, it's the Masters Nationals Road Race Championships and I've signed up for that. So what I'm thinking, I don't really do much vlog style videos where I'm sort of documenting what I'm doing. I thought in preparation for this race, which is about 10 weeks away, I could do once a week a vlog style video, giving you a bit of insight into what I'm doing. My patrons, have suggested a bit of nutrition, um, a little bit of how do you set a training schedule for a busy lifestyle. So thank you to the pa my patrons, I'll put your names up on the screen. If any of my YouTube supporters have some requests or some ideas, I'll be keen to hear them in the below comment section. And this morning and yesterday, my first couple of rides back, I'm just topping up the base fitness. Yeah, so this ride today, I'm doing zone two. So it's about 220, 230 watts, just holding it on. One of the other keys is just consistent pedal stroke. You can tell I'm panting a little bit, that's because I'm not stopping pedaling like this. I just want to keep constant pressure on the crank. And you should be able to talk if you're riding side by side with somebody at this pressure, but when you're holding a camera out in front of you like this and trying to concentrate at the same time, it's interesting how your heart rate elevates pretty quickly. So in terms of the plan, I'm going to share more details with you in upcoming videos, but essentially I think 12 weeks or 10 weeks well, we've got, and I'm going to utilize the stepladder approach. And if you want more details on that, I've got a guide below, free guide, you can download where I talk about the stepladder approach, but 12 hours is going to be my big week. So this is week one, probably do about eight hours this week. 10 hours week two, 12 hours week three, and step it back a little bit, and then constantly lifting the pressure as the weeks or the three week cycles go by. As I said, more details on that will follow. What are you filming? Why? What are you filming? Yeah, why are you filming, Daddy? <laughs> are you filming? I'm filming life. Life in the morning. Like Pickups, drop offs. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Don't ask. <laughs> you smell like milk. Stop saying I smell like milk. You smell like milk. I don't smell like milk. You 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 smell like milk. Five, six, seven, eight. So just walking out of the kids' school, and this is a big part of my operating rhythm every single week. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it shortly because I'm getting a few looks holding a camera to my face around the school area. So I'm actually at home now. I did pull out the camera out the front of my kids' school. I was in the car, and then a couple of parents that I knew walked past the car as I was talking to the camera trying to do this spill, and they looked at me like, with a bit of weirdness, they waved at me, but what was going on? What's this dude doing inside a car outside of a school? talking to a camera so i quickly drove off i'm home now i would go upstairs but my mother-in-law is in staying with us at the moment so she's in the house and she'd probably give me a weird look as well so these are the challenges that we face when we get older and we've got kids and wives and houses and families and all kind of stuff and that's part of what i want to share with you in this series how do i blend in my training program and how do i get to an optimal level when there's a lot of stuff going on i love being a hands-on dad but it does get in the way of your cycling training. I love how ambitious my wife is and she's going a little bit crazy at the moment. Have a listen to this. What are you doing at 8.30 on a Tuesday night? Just living my pleasure. <laughs> what are you booked in for? <laughs> what did you do? 
I registered for the 102 What's this that? Sunday. It's kind of like a half Ironman in Yapoon. Your first triathlon was supposed to be a sprint and you're now doing a half. Half Ironman? Yeah, of course. I'm not ready. That's all right. I'm not going to die. This thing is freaking me out. But it does get in the way of me having the ability to go out and train as much as I like. So there's all these things that come into play. So that's going to be certainly a big part of what I share with you over the next 10 weeks. Now, to get the ball rolling, I, I wanted to do a weigh-in, which I did yesterday. Okay, so a little weigh-in here. What does that look like? A bit of a skid mark or something like that over there. 81.4. Definitely put on a few kgs. So I'm a little bit overweight, probably three, four kilos. I'd love to get down to about 76, 77 for race day. And tomorrow, or maybe this afternoon, but I'll share with you in the next video, I'm going to do an FTP, did I say that? FTP test? My wife's got me thinking about STD after that video. FTP test, so we can see where I'm at there as well. So I'm going to go inside now and make myself breakfast, which this morning is going to be a bulletproof coffee. So black coffee with coconut cream. Oh. <laughs> oh, the dickhead. Because I'm going to start, that's sort of my fast morning. I'm going to do, when I'm not training the mornings, I'm going to do 16 hour fast from sort of 8 in the previous evening until noon the next day to help me drop some excess weight. And nutrition will certainly be part of this series as well. And as I said, any ideas, anything you're keen to hear, put them below and I'll catch you in the next video.